Oh, Shamfire XC1 clone. If only somebody made a light that was this small, but had better controls, like a constant on where you could actually reach it on the gun, and had like, I don't know, 400 lumens? That would be awesome. Huh? Oh, light. PL Mini. Well, let's check that out. Hey guys, we're here. Welcome back to the bench. We got another box, and this time I know what it is. And I ordered it. So, while I'm getting this out, let me tell you a story. I have a hard time with weapons lights. As you guys know, I've got the APLC on my Glock, and I've tried quite a few of the, like, really cheap lights, and I've never been happy with them. And there's a reason. They're cheap and they're crap. So in this box, what we have is a possible alternative to those super cheap lights. It's a little bit more expensive, not quite as expensive as some of the mainstream things, but what we have is this. We have the Olight. PL Mini Valkyrie. Now the PL Mini is about the same size as something like the APLC. However, the APLC only has 200 lumens. The Mini Valkyrie has 400. So we're talking twice the light coming out of this light that's approximately the same size. Another benefit to this particular light is it's rechargeable. No batteries, no worrying about special batteries, no worrying about replacing batteries. All you got to do is every once in a while, toss it on the charger and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see exactly what we get when we pick up a mini Valkyrie. Oh, it's glued shut. I hate it when they do this. I have this thing about tearing packages as I'm trying to open them. I hate it. Okay, there we go. Mostly unharmed. All right, so with that open, let's go ahead and pull out our tray in here. What we have is the light itself, which is considerably smaller than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. Woo! and bright. I don't know why I thought this thing was going to be bigger. Like this thing is slick and I'm really looking forward to this, this quick disconnect system. In addition to our light down below, we have an O light patch that'll go on to my tactical baby gear bag. And then we have our charger. So it does not come with a power brick. It is only the USB portion and our magnetic charging tip here. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, O light's little system here has a matching ring down here on the bottom of the light. And once you just line those up, it pops right in there and goes ahead and starts charging. Let me go ahead and plug this thing in really quick. I know you guys probably don't know this because you don't ever actually see the bench, but I've got a four foot power bar up there and I'm pretty set up down here. Okay, so here we've got our adapter. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is glowing green and our light, let's go ahead and attach that. And with that attached, our light goes off. Now I'm assuming light off means that it's charging. And when it is fully charged, I'm guessing that light's gonna go green again. So that is pretty cool though. I, I am a big fan of that. All right, let's go ahead and get that off of there. Okay, so they do include the required wrench, be able to make changes and take it apart. It comes with the Glock lock bar in there. I am going to replace that with the 1913 bar. Now, I've heard a lot of places say that the 19 that the Glock bar will work just fine. Well, let's go ahead and see what it does when you tighten this thing down here. Maybe I won't replace it. Oh, maybe not. So there it is on the PO1. There's a lot of stuff that I really like about this little light. Um, one of the things that I'm really a fan of is this quick disconnect. I change up my carry a lot, especially when it comes to like, if I want a light or if I don't want a light. So you can see, I'm just gonna flick that and it opens up our rail here. And then I can just slide it onto the rail of my PO1, snap it down and it's nice and solid. Now you can see here, this thing is quite literally the exact width of the PO1. Now it does have this little guy on here. And this is one of the things that I have been kind of warned to worry about or to look at because apparently this can get kind of uncomfortable when you're carrying it. If the holster maker doesn't, doesn't blend things right and leaves this protrusion a little bit too much or a little bit too sharp, it can kind of get to you, but I'm not gonna be too worried about that for now. Uh, it's not getting a holster right away anyway. I need to take this thing to the range, take some shots through it, and make sure that it's gonna hold up to everything that we throw at it prior to carry. Now, speaking of the range, there is one thing that I wanna do before I even get that far, and that is these two screws right here up in front. These screws have a tendency to 
come out, and I don't want them to ever come out. So before we do anything else, we're actually going to pull these, and we're going to Loctite them. Now, I would use Red Loctite, because then it's absolutely never coming out, but I've learned my lesson with that now. Um, I'm never Red Loctiting tiny fasteners like this again. Blue will be more than enough. Maybe I'm not. Maybe they learned their lesson and they Loctited them. Because that is not coming out. Well, you know what? We'll run it as is. It looks like Olight may have learned their lesson and Loctited these two screws so we don't have that issue anymore. So going back to the light itself and the design of the light, again, we've got this quick disconnect. Now, I'm going to toss this back on my PO1. While we're at it, since we're playing with it, let's go ahead and clear the PO1 because I am going to put my hand in front of the muzzle and I don't want to do that with a bullet in the chamber. So activation on the PL Mini is kind of a combination of the APLC and the XC1. So the activation paddles are right here on the side. They don't press in like the APLC. Instead, they press down like the XC1. However, you notice a single press and my light came on and stays on. Now this relieves my biggest pet peeve with the XC1, that I can press down and have a constant on on my weapons light. If you're interested why, go ahead and take a look back at my why weapons lights need a constant on. Similar to the XC1, if you press and hold, you'll get a momentary on, and then you can let go and it will turn back off. If you just press and let go, you get a constant on, and you're ready for hands-free movement without your light. Now, unlike some of the bigger lights, this does not have a strobe option. Now, I'm personally okay with that, but if you're looking for a weapons light with a strobe option, this one is not for you. Now, as far as light quality goes, just shining it around my basement here, I'm actually really impressed. It has a relatively hot center here, but there is a lot of splash here. Like 15 to 20 feet away, this hotspot is still illuminating extremely well. I can see specific things with this hotspot. However, the splash is more than enough to be able to see anything else in the area. I'm really impressed with this thing so far. Now I am noticing with the little bit of light that I've actually had it on, the temperature has raised. Uh, I was not expecting the temperature to be changed in the least with the, what, probably minute and a half of total on time I've had so far. I believe it's got an internal sensor that regulate that temperature. So you're not gonna overheat it, but that could lead to reduced light output. So that's something else to watch out for. I mean, overall, I'm really happy with it. The build quality is actually really good for, I mean, this chi this light's like 100% Chinese made. I mean, it's got the Chinese export logo, like freaking gigantic on the bottom of it. So we're not, we're not gonna be wondering where this thing came from, but I mean, for, for being a Chinese light, the you know, all the cuts are nice. There are no visible machining marks on the exterior of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a well-built light so far. So that's it, guys. That is the unboxing of our new Olight PL Mini Valkyrie that we're going to be testing out. Um, keep an eye out. I'll probably give you an update after I hit the range with it. We'll see how it does there. And I'll let you know if I'm looking for a holster for it or not. Now, I do want you guys to know. I bought this thing. This thing was bought with my own money. Uh, it cost me like 80 bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. But what you get for 80 bucks, a rechargeable light with 400 lumens that looks as good, is this easy to take off, as long as it stays on under fire, doesn't come apart, and this nub here isn't as annoying as some people say it is, this is probably going to end up being my carry light. Remember guys, if you found the video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you're looking forward to the update on this thing, remember to go ahead and hit that notification button down there. You'll get notified every time I put out a video and eventually it'll be the update on this one. Remember guys, I appreciate every one of you and until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.